we we ain't on a schedule let's uh just get going hi how you guys doing i'm back i'm back after the weirdness that was wednesday so i have uh posed to the discord a ben ben wave challenge for this month's challenge i'm I'm trying to do a, a monthly challenge on uh on my discord server um, and this month is since Ben Co- Ben Wave is apparently a meme. I uh, hello M. Uh, I am uh, I posed to everybody a challenge for what Ben Wave means to them, and I realized I haven't done mine yet, and it is the twentieth of April, otherwise known as four twenty to some people. So I um I actually had this idea a long time ago, and I think that it's on my uh, two-hour track challenge list. But I felt that it was kind of a good fit for this. So what I'm thinking is super ambient. Um, hello, Hellfire. How are you? You're back again. Um, but what I'm thinking is actual waves. Um, I kind of want to call this song Literal Ben Waves, but uh, we'll see how far we get on it. Um, The hook for this, or the interesting idea, is that I want to tie the volume of other instruments to the volume, the input volume of the waves. So... um, and I'm sure this has been done before. This is probably not a new idea, but I um, actually a compressor will do the opposite of what I want. I want like a decompressor. <clears throat> I just want to raise the volume up. So the general gist. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Oh, not as stressed and tired. I thought you said and also stressed and tired. Yeah, I uh, I'm glad that you're doing better. Um, I. I'm hopefully going to do better today too. I uh, I was in a bit of a slump on Wednesday, uh, mentally as well as I, I think phys- physically. So um, I'm hoping that today goes a little bit better. Um, I am partially killing time before the Ludum Dare starts. I am going to be working with a friend of mine, um, and she is going to be doing some cool stuff there. Um, and I'm just going to be helping out where I can. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to be, I'm just adding a bunch of stuff in here to make a pad sound. Um, randomness helps with that. Actually, randomness helps with everything. Uh, so I'm still kind of. Oh right, it helps if I enable this. It's getting there. It's getting there. I hope everybody's doing well today, though. I um, a bit of a late start today. I uh, I actually stayed late at work today, and then I uh, I got wrapped up in some other stuff. Had to. Uh, did you get your push-ups in on Wednesday? Yeah. I uh, I need to start doing push-ups again now. Push-ups are good for you. They will for you. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of just a little past two, maybe. Oops. Um, so this is basically just what I'm doing right now as a proof of concept. I don't know. I doubt I'm going to keep these. Um, but I just wanted to see if this actually worked first. Why are we in C6? Okay. 
Um... Hey, Forrest, how you doing? I always want to call you Call because that's the first word I see when I see your name, but I know that your name's not Call. Um... So, this needs to be a little bit less. Because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get momentum. We're trying to get movement. We're not trying to like make it all crazy. So, um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is we can go into the audio effects, grab the gate, and then sidechain the gate to the ambience wave and set like a long attack for this. Oh, the attack only goes to 150? Expecting the attack to be a little bit longer. But that's okay. We'll see what we can do. I wish I could make this attack longer. I can't just like type in 800, can I? No. Um, I mean, one thing I could do, I guess, is to just like chain a bunch of these together like this. See every iteration through here, the, the curve gets smoother. So that's kind of cool. And then let's just take this. I don't know. Now I'm just being weird. I wanted to. I wanted to see if I could like chain these together. So we could have like an arpeggiator over here doing its own thing. And um, see what we can do with this. So we can tie this to the reverb that's generated by the pad. I'm I'm basically working on an instrument that only that basically the waves tie into everything else and it's I feel like I don't have the right um, effect for this. So basically what's happening, the volume of the waves triggers the volume of the pads and the volume of the pads eventually triggers the, the volume of the, the arpeggio. But I feel like... It's not making it there, so I gotta delete these. Oh, right, because this is feeding into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't I don't know if this is going to work. I, I was just messing around with stuff. Um, so 
on my Discord channel, and I kind of I kind of talked about this briefly when um, when the stream started, but not many people were here yet. Um, I on the Discord channel I have a uh, a monthly challenge, and this month's challenge was to make what Ben Wave means to you, because apparently Ben Wave is a meme on this channel. So I um. I wanted to try making something that used actual waves. It's a little bit better. I mean, the nice thing about this yeah. The nice thing about this is that I can just go like this, and it's a completely different song now. the attack a little bit smoother. And there really isn't a way for me to do that. It's still kind of cool. It's a little mesmerizing. have a longer time Let me just look at this real quick. Oh, it's a full second. I'm always bad with rope loaders, though. I always seem to like, get them backwards. Yeah, take care. Thanks for stopping by and offering your advice. does seem to even it out a little bit. I like the idea. It's like the execution that I'm not entirely sure of right now.
hopefully it's relaxing to you in the background. Um, I like the idea of having a piano in there, but I also kind of like the idea of using a electric piano. I think that would fit well here. What's the button for just, nope, there we go. If I remember correctly, Ableton saved all of that, yeah. That's what I love about Ableton 10. I can do stuff like that and it actually remembers it. Changed the tempo on me though. Chirpy. Not so many. Actually, super boring.
I, I'm, I, what I'm thinking right now is like have this kind of extended intro and then we kind of like roll into something completely different and I think that would work pretty well. I fucked that up in a lot of different ways, didn't I? I was recording the wrong channel. I had it on loop mode. <laughs> okay, so why is it not recording? I've had this issue with Ableton in the past. Does anybody know the answer to this? Because this has happened to me before where all of a sudden Ableton just stops recognizing inputs. I mean, clearly it's still recognizing them, but it's not actually recording them. Ableton 10 MIDI inputs not recording. Recording new clips, MIDI parts won't play. Using external hardware, keyboard not working. None of these actually answer my question. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do too. Um, so. Oh, well, we'll get back to it in a moment. And my messy ass desktop because I've been working with uh, working with a client on some sound effects. Oh man! Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm not entirely sure why that happens. Um, I think it has something to do with going into this plus mode, or alternatively, it has something to do with uh, clicking the the read button, where suddenly it's just. Well, I don't know what to do anymore, so. Now it's working. Kind of have a little arc of energy here and then The, I want the actual you know, pad to trigger right away.
thinking we can do this since this is right on the beat to uh, like actually start something. Because <clears throat> we're all about starting something here, aren't we? Yeah, sure. Um, I won't uh, listen to it right now, but if you send me a tweet or a private message or something, I'll be more than happy to uh, listen to your track and give you feedback um, just because I want to focus on this right now. But otherwise, yes, I do like listening to music and I do like giving feedback. Actually, what the hell? Send it over. Why not? time to challenge like I usually do, so whatever. Uh, yeah, sorry, my I haven't, uh, let me, that's my bad. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm new to this chatbot, and apparently it's a little trigger happy still. My bad. I should make that permit like two minutes or something, too. I like this song so far, though. Actually, I still have the link. Okay, so a couple things. First of all, I, I I think that it's good. I'm not a huge fan of like the pitch shifted chopped stuff, but overall you did a pretty good job with that. Um, I feel like there's some weird high end stuff that you could cut out of this. I don't know if it's a result of the pitch shifting that you did, um, but there's like some kind of weird high end buzz that I'm hearing that I don't, maybe it almost feels like bit reduction. Um, so I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just like artifacting from the pitch shifting. Um, or it, it might be possible that this is just ripped off of a, a, a low bitrate MP3 file or something. And, uh, it's just, uh, just compression. Um, yeah. Um, and this might be the style of the genre, but having the the sub just be solid on a tone, gotcha. Um, it kind of works, but I feel like I feel like the bass is one of the best ways to offer interaction between the melodic stuff and the percussive stuff. So you have you have this layer that's just this solid note, which works pretty well because you have it side chained to the kick. 
Um, so it does duck out of the way. I, and that would, yeah, you definitely need that. Um, but I guess it is, I guess it is moving around a little bit. And I do, I do like this buildup. I feel like it's, it's a little bit of a generic buildup where it's just like, okay, quarter notes and then eighth notes and then a, a buildup and then a Prada snare, really. No, oh no, not in this one. Um, but I, I'm not a huge fan of the electronic stuff, but that's just personal preference. Um, I think that you did pretty well with it overall. Um, it seems well leveled. I do like the little fills that you have in here at, at the four bars. Or the eight bars, I guess. That, 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 that's really good. And that it's, it's subtle enough to where it's not obvious, but it still conveys the rhythm that you're looking for. Um, yeah, overall, I, overall, I think it's cool. Um, I can, I can honestly say that it's not the genre that I traditionally listen to, but, um, I think it's cool. Yeah, thanks for sharing. I should do that more often. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be like, "Well, this is my stream, and I can only play my music on my stream." Like, I don't. I like helping people out, and I like offering advice. So when I'm not doing a timed challenge, I'm more than happy to like. Of course, going back to this, it's like the song is like crazy chill. It's not Firefox. <laughs> nah, I like it without a timer. It's it's freeing. It's free. I could do whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, I agree, though. What? Add the upright bass? Well, I guess, like, if you think that it's a good idea. Hey, sub, what is up, my friend? I should have like a metronome or something. I was in time for like the first one and then I kind of lost my rhythm. Um, I love the upright bass. It's so good. Hey, Asteria, how you doing? Thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. I think you need a piano to tide you over on this chill ass Friday.
Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Um, where the hell am I going with this? Okay, so... This needed to be here, I think. So this needs to get all shoved over. Oh. Thanks, Beatrix. How are you, by the way? I know we were just talking like 45 minutes ago, but you know. Jesus Christ, this bot. <laughs> okay. Banned forever. Um, let me, uh, holy shit. I haven't tuned this bot yet. Um, I need to, I need to like work on this. Uh, events, mod tools, caps protection. Apparently, if you use more than eight caps, it purges you. So let's change this to something a little bit more reasonable. Um, link protection, permit duration. There we go. Those are a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to hear what I have so far? Um, so... The general idea is I'm using the the volume as a modulator for the volume for this, and the volume is a, for this as a modulator for a volume of this. Hey, Pandy Bird. Haven't seen Pandy in the chat for a while. here sorry for interrupting the song but i was just like i realized that this part needed something oh yeah oh gee, yeah i can imagine it's a ton of work um i'm so glad that they're doing that though it sounds like it sounds like they're super jazzed about it <laughs> um hopefully at some point we can uh, we can fly together. I think that would be so fun. I know I know Teen is a little scared of small prop planes. Where is the pitch bend? Keyboard detune error. There it is. Pitch bend range. I keep looking for a, like a number on it. Um, here i need to add a reverb i was like trying to add a reverb and tune the reverb and do all this other stuff while actually live recording which i don't recommend um yeah that would be that would be really fun i uh i hope that you guys get to do that Actually, no. I like it better like this. Everybody loves a good sine wave once in a while, right?
right, so then we can... Uh, Um, yeah, this is like 70 something. So then we can just like go into the super chill groove right here. I know that I'm just, just automating something that I could have started at, but you know, whatever. You're not my real dad, and so forth. <laughs> It's my favorite, favorite sample ever. I have no idea what tempo this is at though, so I have to kind of... There we go. Uh, 57.5? Nope. 56.8. Getting closer. So I'm going to be layering this with something else too, but uh, this is such a good. Uh, this is such a good loop. I love it so much. Actually, no, this uh, this works great right here. So the other thing I want to do is this need this needs to go away. It's too much. Hell yeah. I love this synth so much. So I actually moved this over when I shouldn't have. Um, seriously, though, this upright bass is the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. This is this is a contact. You have this, I believe, Beatrix. This is a contact native instrument. It's just called upright bass, and it is the best. Like, it has... It's like, and this is just like default settings. Oh, that was called the force. You guys have the same color. It messed me up over here. It had the same color. Sorry. Forest. You might have this too if you have the contact library. Should we, I, I still kind of want to do an ASMR stream where I, uh, I read creepypastas like this. I think that would be a lot of fun actually. the good creepy pastas, not the bad ones. So I, uh, apparently we went into full Bob Ross mode here. Um, so <laughs> I, uh, I want I want to measure too early here. Uh, 
I don't know if I want to add swing to this or not. I kind of do. I kind of like I like how this sounds so far where it's like it's like really chill and then it kind of picks up for a second near the end. This, I think. Nope, it's right here. There we go. This one's boring. It's like all about those off beats. word um, as far as I know it's called a brushed snare because they use a brush um, honestly I don't know either this is a really old sample that I got forever ago and it's not the best sample either um, but I love it so much I've used it on a lot of songs <laughs> like kind of an embarrassing amount of songs <laughs> I want other stuff to happen in here too, but. <laughs> yeah, just put like a dubstep drop in the middle. Don't make, don't like tempt me. I've done that before. And it actually worked out okay. Um, obviously, I processed the hell out of it, but... Um, let's see. Composing channels. There are not a lot. I watched, I watched somebody stream yesterday who was composing and it was, it was fun, but it's like, I don't know. 
it's like composing and doing a stream on composing specifically is actually really hard. Um, not only from a, uh, a perspective of actually just sitting down and doing it, but from a technical perspective as well, getting like the stars to align so you can actually properly stream this stuff. It's not easy. Now you just got to get people interested in it so they can come to my stream and hang out. Learn how to make music. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Ben's stream today. volume is low compared to the music is it i think the music's just too loud thank you um i think my headphones were too low which caused the music to get loud let's try How is the mic volume now? I mean, I can always just turn up the microphone too. That's not a problem. Raptured by the sound. Um, I don't think I was like right about here. It's kind of a tired corporation, but I love it so much. Oops, that must have been where the cut is. Let me uh, let me put the pedal back in there.
there we go. A little loud. But it does the job. I'm also going to manually do that. This is this pitch bend is a little wonky. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Good job, Ableton. Okay, let's find... making black earth songs until like the heat death of the universe so i'm okay i'm like <laughs> i'll be fine um but you know i could i could literally make these songs forever and be okay with it Black Earth um, is Dare Bohend and the Club of Gore, I think. Um, album. Bo Bo Bahren. Oh, don't want to do that. Um, this album is incredible. Um, Dark jazz, the darkest jazz. Um, yeah, well worth your time. Several of my songs have been inspired by that album, uh, the two-hour track ones. So uh, you might find some similarities there. Let's find what's a little bit more open. It's, it's like the perfect studying music, too. It's just far enough in the background where it doesn't get in the way. Ugh, this is rough. some velocity to this stuff. Let's give this stuff a little bit more uh, diversity in the velocity area, because right now, since I've been manually adding all of these, they've been... Uh, Kind of a weird 
and I like it. It's just, uh, it's a little out there. That's a little better. Chill, I love it. Stop slouching, Ben. Be a grown up. end up doing is add layer on layer on layer on layer and then all of a sudden it's just it's the dark jazz jazz equivalent of electro swing and god knows we don't want that in in this reality um someday i want somebody to review one of my albums and say that it's the dark jazz of electro swing now that's a new life goal to have I love electro swing. I just think that it is a genre designed around putting a lot of layers into something that may or may not need it. And that's okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that's what I'm trying to avoid here. And um, I'm very good at adding too many layers to something that doesn't really need it.
our good buddy Scam Likely is calling again. Scam sure loves talking to me. something to reinforce the uh this last hit here i think it's here that's right here because it has this the the um the sample has this weird crop to it and i'm not sure what's up with that um and i could like stretch it a little bit I, mean, I kind of like how it sounds. It sounds like it's um, somehow muted, but it also sounds like it's like glitching out in the wrong way. the waves. This is what's driving the volume of the pads. Forrest, if you missed the premise, um, what the plan was is to have the volume of the waves affect the volume of the pads and then have the volume of the pads affect the volume of this arpeggio. Um, unfortunately, the attack uh, maximum for this effect is 150, so I basically duplicated this out several times so the effect would be lessened or the attack effect would be lessened over, over multiple iterations of the gate. It's not exactly a clean solution. Yeah, I, I kind of want to try it again in a more controlled environment. Um, I kind of just went into this not really knowing if it would work. And it does work. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, but I think that it could be cooler if I, like, had some uh, more planning. <laughs> we don't plan around these parts, though.
Okay, so what I want to do... Yeah, I um, I I I, I really like. I watched your digi- digitact digitact video today. It was very good. I liked it. Um, so yeah, have fun. I uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. The Ludum Dare starts in one hour or two hours. I think it's two hours. Yeah. Sometimes watch like the voting patterns of uh, prior rounds and get a good idea of what's going to be. But I kind of feel that's cheating too. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Plus mode, dang it. I was wondering why that sounded so weird. Yes, thank you, Pizza, for reminding me. If you guys, if any of you here, uh, are interested in the two hour album challenge. I don't have those anymore, but I will, uh, you should probably be a command. Um, yeah, well, the problem is pizza that I went to, I went to Streamlabs. Um, so it's a new chat bot. So I lost like everything. Not that I had a whole lot in there, but, um, I have to kind of rebuild it. And I've been, I've been lazy lately. I've been focusing on other stuff. Yes, I hope so. I really, my goal for this one is to get over 20 participants to submit a song, um, which isn't a huge jump from last year, I think, or last year, last uh, last one, I think we had um, 17 songs. So, okay, let's say, I want to say that the goal, I want my personal goal for getting people involved is 25 people, 25 submissions on the album. Um, nice. Yeah. I thought, I thought that there was like 13 in album in volume one for some reason. It was actually a very surprisingly large turnout. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked to see all of the cool stuff that people make this time around. It, it makes me very, very happy, um, to see all this coming together again. Um, but I have to keep advertising it. Um, my computer. When uh, I'm watching a stream or something and I hear a Windows, and I don't know if it's my computer or their computer. I'll uh I'll be right here. I hear myself talking to my uh voice recorder, so I might have to cut that out in the uh the field recording. The setup for the rolly is a little bit of a pain. But once it's there it's good.
actually that's a really cool sound. Are you trying to end the song today? Um, yeah, I have for I have another two hours actually. Um, so I'll see how far I get. If I don't finish, if I'm not satisfied with the end of the song, um, we can, I can uh, work on it later. Uh, most likely I'll be working with Beatrix tomorrow on the Ludum Dare stuff. So, um, yeah, there's that, but I, uh, I will be around, I might work on this more. I don't know. So I can go like this and resample that. The charity stuff? Um, no, the charity stuff is next weekend. Um, this weekend is the Ludum Dare, which is a uh, challenge to make a game in a weekend. Um, it's a little bit what the two hour album challenge is based off of, uh, not entirely, but, um, yeah, so Beatrix is going to be doing a lot of the development and I'm going to be, uh, uh, providing music. She's also a musician, um, but she'll be providing me or doing the development. And I'm going to be doing the music stuff. Uh, most likely Famitracker, um, because it'll likely be a, uh, whoa, geez. It'll likely be a pixel art game. Um, Let's make the problem with the there's there's a couple problems I have with the Roly and it's nothing to do with the actual Roly. It's like I don't have a place to put it while I play on it because otherwise I have to sit over here and it's kind of awkward because I like talking into the microphone. Surprisingly, I know. It helps if this is not soloed. Let's try again.
it's just like a normal vibrato, right? Perfect. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, so we have to kind of go through the arduous process of uh, resampling this. I think that I'd be able to like flatten the layer. Can I flatten a group? No. If I was able to like flatten a group or freeze and freeze and flatten a group, then I could do it that way. But otherwise we just get to listen to this, which is not a big deal. It just has to be soloed. Sounds a little wonky when it's uh I don't know what that sound was. It's like some weird artifacting or something. Anyway. Yeah, it would help if I uh, unmuted this, huh? Whoops. Oh, okay.
got to work on your note lengths. Not everything has to be exactly the length of the, the space. Like that. And get some fancy ass notes in here. Oh yeah. I kind of like that. But I kind of like that. Um, we can preview it a little bit there. <laughs> That'll get their attention. Wake up, sheeple. This is a D flat.
very special, uh, it's got a special arpeggio, it has a special note. I think I'm gonna call that measure. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Jerry. Good job, Jerry. So now I want to, such as it is, I want to break it down a little bit. Hey, buddy, how's, how you doing? I don't know about that. It it definitely has uh Bandwave isn't a thing that you can achieve. It is a state of mind that you constantly strive toward. Spam likely is calling again. Didn't even miss a note. Fuck you, scam. Uh, 
Oh, fine. I don't know where I'd put that. I guess in the breakdown. Then wave isn't day. Nah, see, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta plan this right. Then wave isn't a thing to achieve. But a state. It'll just feel out of place. Oh, you're right, it's a state of mind. God damn it, do it again. Then wave. It's a good thing that you achieve. But a state of mind that you strive toward. Wave. Ooh, that's loud. Um, that wave is a good thing that you achieve, but But this this invites this invites me to go off on a whole fucking dissertation for fucking sixteen bars about fucking Ben Wave and Oh now I have to think. It's so easy to make music without thinking. Just control D on a bunch of loops and then you win. Um God, you people are making me do this. It's you people that are making me do this. Fucking fuck it. Fuck. Fuck, fuckity fuck. Okay, um, then wave isn't a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of mind which you strive toward. Pizza, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, man. Thanks for host. Thanks for the host. The thing you achieve. Okay, so I'm gonna need some help with this. I can't. Uh... <laughs> but I have water right here. What am I supposed to do now? You made me thirsty. Um. Understanding that ideas <laughs> Understanding that ideas aren't Oh, that's mean <laughs> I almost have it. Understanding that ideas aren't. Um, but uh, the. Yeah, I know. That's the problem with anything you that you talk over, in into music. It always sounds good. Um,
it's like not not worthless platitudes but like those things that people say that sound profound but they're just like be like water So this is this is basically verse two or three. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, pizza. to entertain others but to reinforce our perception of self that sounds like that sounds really smart but it makes no sense <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again i just watched it league it crew That show where people talk about computers. waves in it because I'm not taking this stuff seriously at all ah, you guys gotta help me with this first line just stop there and stay in it now no well this this needs four bars I'm spitting hot bars here and I can't have three bars and establishing
that uh that D flat is pretty good. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking. formulate into it. Except this one sounds like this one looks like sounds way better. Isn't about. struggle to study our perception of self. Ben Wave isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. I can't type and do this. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. I probably spelled that wrong. Rather, it's a state of mind which you strive toward, understanding that ideas aren't static.
constantly strive. Yeah, it gets wordy, but we might be able to make it fit. Um, understanding. This all comes from an understanding. That ideas aren't static, but fluid, like water. I don't know why I'm formatting it like it's some kind of poetry, but what the fuck ever. Okay. Our struggle as artists. Ugh, God. Okay, I need a little bit more of a lead in, I think. Stop recording! <laughs> okay. Our struggle as artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to the broken parts inside of ourselves. We create things as a reflection of this struggle. To study our perception of self. Ben Wade isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. This all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static, but fluid, like water. Timing's a little off, but it'll be okay. Get out of here. Um, yeah. Our struggle as artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to the broken parts inside of ourselves. We create things as a reflection of this struggle study our perception of self. Ben Wade isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Ah. Rather, the windows it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. This all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static. Thank you. Yeah, I think that I think that it turned out okay. Uh, it's just kind of a timing thing. Our struggle as artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to yeah. the broken parts I needed to inside of ourselves. We create things as a reflection of this struggle. Yeah, I know. I kind of ran out of time at the end to study our perception. Self. Ben Wave isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. So, Ben Wave isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. And this all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static. Water. Yeah, and then B, pause. E N W A. No. Um. But fluid, like water. Be like water. Whoops. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to re-record that one. That's fine. Sounds good. Like water. Be like water. It's a 
killer breakdown, bro. And then we can go get some to get to get like a dubstep drop. And um here. Gotta find a good uh gotta, gotta get some good wubs in here. And then um Oh, these are gonna sound like shit. Uh so watch your mic your headphones. There we per perfect. So we'll just um take this and um you gotta put a new lead in here for these dank this, these dank nugs. Um, put this right in here. There. But fluid, like water. <laughs> oh, I could make that work. Uh that would sound like shit though. Um I like I liked I'd rather have this than uh Um where's the breakpoint in this? Oh, it's over here. Oop, there we go. Mm, yeah, we can keep that in there. I think that'll work. I'm doing a lot of copying and pasting right now. Just because um, then we can fill in the blanks. I, uh, I had an idea, and then I started thinking about dubstep drops, and then I kind of lost it. So I put that on you guys. Um, no, I was going to do a uh, drum kit. I need a ride cymbal. every bar or every beat whoop that's not the this isn't my house um <clears throat> very quiet. Panning helps too. Oops, see that's too much. damn Ben Wave songs out there to probably make a mixtape at this point. We listed them all out at one point. Um, I think there's like six now. Which I'm okay with. Be 
oh yeah. Well, I think we've come to that time where I have to use the breath controller. Inevitably. I already used the Rolly. You must uh, not have been here for that. I used the Rolly twice, actually. Yeah, it's these two right here were the, were the Rolly. I had to, uh, I basically uh, squished them down because they take up like nine MIDI channels otherwise. I don't have it uh, properly configured, I guess. Or maybe it's not working. Yeah, it's not reading it. Okay. Wow. Is that not plugged in? Okay, time to explore under my desk. Yeah. Ben's digital harmonica. Oop. Go away, Bing. It is definitely being read. Okay. Wait, channel one. Maybe the Rolly's getting in the way. Oh, it's probably the Rolly getting in the way. Um... So let's send it to like MIDI channel f 13. Why not? Otherwise. Otherwise we'll do something else. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to actually restart Ableton, um, see if I can get it to work. I'm going to turn off the Roly and then, oh yeah. I save all the time. I want to, um, I want to make little visual reminders that people can, uh, that shoot at me through chat. Be like, time to save. Well, it's still not working. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. See, it was here, and now it's not. So, it must have gotten disconnected or something. Oh, 
Oh, well. I can always add it later. I don't know what's up with that. MIDI is a peculiar thing. Okay. Hey, let's listen to the whole thing. We're not on a timer. We've got an hour until the Ludum Dare starts. done we did it uh, we still need a lead right here but well it wouldn't be Ben wave without melodica are done when you abandon them. Our struggle as artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to the broken inside of ourselves. That is a little too real. <laughs> we create things as a reflection of this struggle to 
study our perception of self. Ben Wave isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. This all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static, but fluid, like water. Cats sure as hell didn't like that. They left. <laughs> There's a few mistakes in there, but honestly, that was pretty neat. But fluid, like water. talking today about using Replica and how I like never really used it before. Replicator kind of gives it a bit of a chorus, but adding a little bit more.
Yeah, I picked it up a while ago, and I honestly never really used it. I gotta... I gotta invest more time into learning the shit that I purchased. Might have been. Maybe that's where I got it. I thought I've actually like spent Earth dollars on it, but I might be wrong. I don't want it to resolve there. It's a little better. And this all comes from Oops, that's way yeah, that's that's good. I want to listen to the, the solo ideas again. Aren't static, but fluid, like water. Be like water. Cause they added the saturator on here. And I want to make sure that it's not too. Still sounds good. I'm going to have to mess with my replica more than to make the drums a little bit more interesting by adding more rhythmic variation. Um, honestly, the rest of it is pretty solid, though.
Yeah, I like I like how that chord just kind of it goes up and it kind of wants you to hit that last note wherever that is. There it is. But it doesn't. So that's good. Kitty, I'll feed you in like 20 minutes. I already fed him like three times, but you know, I'll feed him again. Cats. Okay. I don't think that that's super tonal. Okay, there we go. Just go like, nope, 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 nope. So we're just uh, taking these, making them a bit more interesting. shits whether or not that it's uh Super weird. It's 
It's like on the grid, but it's like off the grid at the same time. Yeah, look how far we've made it into the song. This is why I don't do this during the two hour track challenge. Basically what I'm doing is if I hear if if I hear something as like, oh this could be more interesting if it's somewhere else and I just do it. So these are all basically just like one little one shots to keep things interesting. Our perception of self. Ben wave. Ben wave. This whole thing, and it's just a stupid meme joke. Our perception of self. Ah, oh, what have you guys done? Ben wave isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a. Like super serious song talking about a relevant topic. It is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward. And this all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static. But it's aren't static. But fluid. It's aren't static. But fluid. Like water.
static, but fluid, like water. Be like water. Much better. How's everybody doing today? You excited for the weekend? The weekend's gonna be so fun. sick of doing this. Yeah. Wave way. I haven't sitting too much today. Okay, let's listen to it all the way through, do a little bit of mixing, and we're done. Yeah. I kind of want to do more stuff without a clock, but I need that timer. It is, it, this is also a really good redemption from the garbage fire that was uh, Wednesday. Granted, this is two hours and 45 minutes. clock is so helpful. The clock, the clock is everything.
I think we're good. That's the one that I kind of waffled over.
Cool. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and making this pretty neato song. Um, not sure. Oh, of course, I'm not going to post it until the whole uh, album challenge is done at the end of this month. If you guys are um, interested in doing a little music challenge for this month, I do have the Ben Wave Challenge. It is going on until the end of April, so you are welcome to hop onto that. The Discord link has been popping through the chat once in a while, so hop over there and... Um... <laughs> Um, so uh, hop over there and get more details on uh, how to participate. Uh, but otherwise, this actually turned out super cool. I'm definitely going to be posting this recording on YouTube. Um, I think that it would be a lot of fun to watch the process for this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think that's all I got for today, though. I'm going to go make some dinner, check out the theme that was chosen for Ludum Dare, and then help my uh, good friend Avery out with some game dev stuff. Most likely doing music. I might be back with chiptunes, but I might also just do those off stream because, uh, I don't know, because. So I hope everybody here has a good rest of the day. I will be back tomorrow, um, probably doing game dev stuff, most likely music. And then I have a podcast that I'm starting with Zaxxus tomorrow. So um, we are going to end my stream and roll over to his. And we're going to just uh, sit down and talk for a half hour, 45 minutes to an hour with uh, with my buddy Tim from Insert Coin Theater as well. So um, if you're interested in listening to people talk, which some people definitely are, I, uh, I suggest uh, sticking around tomorrow. Oh, God. And um, we'll, uh, we'll jam out with some words, too. So I hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Take care. Bye.